Hello friends, welcome to our today's session on Apache Spark. In this series, we are learning in detail about Azure Databricks and in our today's video, we will focus on how to read a simple XML file into our Spark data frame. We will use both PySpark as well as Spark with Scala to understand this concept and also we will use Databricks Community Edition. That being said, let us move on to our today's demo. So we are into my Databricks Community Edition account. I have already created a notebook for our demo and also started the cluster as well. And uh, the cluster is also running fine. So let me walk you through each and every step for us to understand the concept. So the sample file that I have taken today here is something related to uh, videos that has been uploaded to YouTube. So here you can see I have displayed it. I have displayed a few lines using fs head command of the sample XML file that we have. I will give this uh, XML file uh, in a description. I mean like a link to download this XML file in a description. You can go ahead and uh, download it and try this in your own machine and understand it better. And here you can see like we do have something related to the profile picture, video URL and then the title that we have given and then location from where the picture is getting uploaded. So those related informations we have and the root tag is message you can see here. So these are all the informations that will be available in a XML file. This will be something related to JSON file as well. Uh, but it is a little bit different and uh, moving ahead in spark reading this xml file directly is not possible uh, because uh, the spark reader will not support the xml format uh, we need to have a route around uh, but for example say i am not giving any route around and i am directly specifying format as xml and i am trying to read the sample xml file let us see what will happen so obviously it will throw error and what the error is like class not found and uh, if I go in detail it will say like fail to find the source XML. So this is the error message uh, that is being popped up and it says like uh, uh, please find the package at this and we need to install some external packages for uh, reading the XML. Let us see how we can install the XML package uh, in our Databricks environment and uh, I have already shown you guys like how to install external package uh, in Databricks. I will give a link in the description as well as in this i button. Uh, go ahead and watch that video. But here again I would like to explain you that. Uh, here you can see like there is something like compute. Select that and uh, I am choosing the cluster that is running. Cluster. And then here you can see I have chosen a runtime version of 10.4 and inside this remember this thing. Scala I have chosen 2.12 now we do have Scala as 2.13 as well and uh, here in this tab you can see something like libraries and I am clicking on install new in Databricks I mean like in for reading XML file we do have a couple of uh, packages one is from Databricks side itself so which we are going to use today but uh, if there is a very complex XML file uh, then we can't rely on this uh, Databricks package. Uh, we have to go through some other package called Stream API, which I will explain you guys in the later video. And uh, this package is from Maven. So I am choosing Maven as a library source. And uh, instead of typing it, I will go ahead and search the package. And here instead of Spark, since it is a Maven Central, click on drop down and select Maven Central. And, uh, type in spark space xml so this will list down all the xml packages that are available and we have to select accordingly to our uh, scala version so here you can see in top three we do have uh, spark hyphen xml 2.11 2.12 and 2.13 uh, these are all nothing but a scala version and uh, we have to choose spark 2.12 uh, please make sure uh, you are choosing the correct version of uh, uh, Scala uh, so that it will not uh, throw any error message during runtime. So uh, I am going with Spark XML 2.12 and I am selecting that. And then we don't need to fill any other thing. I am directly clicking on install. So this will take a minute. It is resolving and it will get installed in a minute.
yeah it is installed now let me move back to the notebook So now the same step, the same command. Uh, this is the process how we will be reading it through the uh, package that we have installed. So format I am simply giving it giving it as XML, and then uh, we have to we can specify the root tag and the row tag, and uh, the root tag is nothing but a main tag that we have, and row tag is uh, one which we are going to extract. Since this is a simple XML file, I didn't have any nested uh, related informations. If you have any nested informations, you can go ahead and give uh, row tag as well. So here I'm not using root tag. I'm just using row tag alone, and I'm giving message as the information to extract, and then I'm giving a path. And let me run this. So now you can see there is no error message, and simply my job got triggered. And let me display the output as well. Yeah, now we can see my notebook is able to read the XML file that we have. So I do have only single record, so it is able to read that. And uh, the same goes for uh, the Scala as well, Spark Scala as well. Only difference is you have to add a val command. Let me show you that as well. Scala, and let me put val here and here as well val. And let me add val here as well. So it got created. Now you can see here. So we can uh, display this as well using Scala. So this is how we will read the XML file in Databricks. But if it comes to a other environment, like whether you are using a Cloud Raw or Unix platform, or else uh, if you are trying to execute the code in your interactive shell uh, in a in your local configured machine, then this method can't be used. We have to check on some other method. That method I will uh, post it in our next upcoming video uh, uh, to understand how we can uh, read a file, read XML file, how we can uh, use the external library in our interactive session. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you understood this. Try this on your own machine and let me know if you face any issues. I'm happy to help you. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content. Thank you.